Hey, what's up guys? Today we're going to learn how to do side flips. Um, when you're starting out, you're going to feel it's a little bit easier to go in one direction. It's kind of like snowboarding, skateboarding, surfing, all that. You're going to be a little bit more comfortable and it's going to be easier for you to stick to one side. For me, it was the right. Um, over time and practice, you can learn how to do both ways. Um, I'm not going to focus too much on what not to do or common problems. This time around, I'm going to try something different. I'm going to go over some drills that actually teach you how to do the skill. So, without further ado, let's begin. When starting out, it's better just to get the feel of what your body actually does. And the way I figured of doing that is you just roll across your back. Over time, if that gets too easy, you want to move on to bouncing off your back and back to your feet. I go this way. Okay. This helps you understand the motion of the flip and it helps teach you how to spot your landing. When you're starting your jump, it's a slight rotation to your back. You bounce and you go to your feet. As you get more and more comfortable with this, and you feel like you're ready to do the flip, all there is to do is actually try the flip. Side flips, you're only blind for a very, very short amount of time. And you can see it, when I do my side flip, I spot and I finish. When you're doing your side flips, I like to finish in a straddle. Um, if you saw my backflip tutorial, you'll see why. If you do land feet together at a certain angle and you bounce, it's gonna shoot you off the trampoline. Um, so, you know, a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. You can see the feet here. Set, turn, and I straddle a little bit wider than shoulder width to finish that side flip. Just don't ever lock your arms or your legs when you're landing, okay? It's not smart, it's not safe. Oh, this reminds me what not to do, okay? Not so much on it, but you don't want to throw your head back, okay? You never want to throw your head. Another thing too is you don't want to sprawl out in your flip or kind of just let your legs drag one of the things that's gonna be a little bit harder to grasp is the actual tuck motion. Because you're not doing a forward throw like the front flip or a pull over your head like the back flip, it's gonna be a little bit weird when you're first trying it. Um, it feels a lot more like the back flip because you do pull your knees over your head, but not entirely. The most important thing is that you are crunching. I still set. I think it's very important that you always set up you want the maximum amount of height. You don't want to be traveling, especially when you only have a certain amount of landing space. That set gets you that height. After you're at the top or you're reaching the top of your peak, you're going to start pulling down and into your knees. It's kind of like an oblique crunch. This would be your set. You want to pull across, okay? So your arms are up. You pull them over, and then you grab your knees here. <laughs> All right, so again, slow motion. Watch the crunch and then the tuck. Make sure you spot the floor, okay? Turn your head. That's about it. All you gotta do is practice. Over time and practice, like I said, you can learn how to go both ways. and eventually connect the two.
All right, for the slow-mo recap, you always start out with the set. As you're reaching the height of your set, you want to begin to crunch. That way you lead sideways into your tuck. Very important that you tuck. And then you're going to spot the landing. As you're finishing your flip, you're going to straddle your legs to prepare for that landing. And then you finish and you are done. I think that's it. Keep practicing and you'll get it. All right, that's it for the side flip tutorial. I'll see you guys next time.